Hi, I'm Alvy Ann Chandler, and welcome to the Mar Report at Fort Stewart, Georgia, home of the 3rd Infantry Division. More than a dozen Bradley Fighting Vehicle crews from Apache Troop 57 Cavalry blasted through Gunnery Table 6 last week in preparation for their upcoming European rotation. Army Sergeant Dean Gannon caught some of the action. We still got ammo left. You know, we all qualified and we're good to go. Learn from all the stuff that didn't happen correctly. So you know better what to do next time, right? They made it a little harder for Table 6 because the AUX engagements were two targets and the manual engagements were two targets. But uh, for Table 6, the AUX was two targets, but the manual was only one target. So they made it more difficult. So it would be like, they kind of like break us down, but then when we go to Table 6, it's like, okay, you know, it's, it's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Our first engagement on Table 6 always started up PP2, Battle Position 2. They would come up here. They'll do their drills, call up their red gun status to tower. Once they are ready to go, tower will pop a PC or troops, depending on the scenarios that was built by the squadron master gunner. They'll engage those. Once they kill them, they're gonna back out of PV2 and they're gonna do their offensive engagement. They're gonna shoot on the move. I'm just looking forward to going train with our NATO and allied nations. The training that we're currently trying to conduct in Europe mostly has to do with live fire exercises. So gunnery table six, getting the crews qualified, really is the foundation for all that. Because without that, you can't go to any higher than section or platoon level. So I'm talking about having multiple vehicles maneuver together in conjunction with live fires, both direct from the vehicles and then possibly having artillery, mortars, or even aviation assets. So when we deploy to Europe, and start training with our NATO and allied nations. The one thing we're looking forward to, so we're going in there qualified as a troop and then look forward to possibly seeing their armored vehicles because it's one thing to look at them on pictures, but it's another thing to actually get close up, crawl in, and actually see it firsthand. Reporting for 1st Brigade Raiders, I'm Army Sergeant Dean Gannon. Thank you for watching the 2014 Keith L. Ware First Place Award Winning War Report. For more segments, go to YouTube.com and subscribe to our 3rd Infantry Division channel so you will never miss a segment. Rock of the Mars.